Hi everybody, this is the weekly for the week of May 10th. I'm sorry, May 4th. It's the weekly for May 4th. This is the higher version. News to you. May 4th, 2020. Thanking hospital workers. Hospital workers are very busy now. Many people are sick with the coronavirus. Hospital workers are helping sick people become healthy. Hospital workers work in hospitals. So right now hospitals are a little bit more busy than um, normal. And so they're, they're just working a lot of hours, a lot of overtime. Um, they're dealing with people who are sick with things that we are familiar with. Um, you know, the flu, um, allergies, uh, broken bones, burns, and such like that. But now they're having to deal with people who have the coronavirus or think they have the coronavirus. So it makes them a little bit more busy. People who are very sick may go to hospitals. People who are hurt may go to hospitals too. People who are sick or hurt need help. Hospital workers can help these people. Hospitals have many kinds of hospital workers. So, like I said, if you're sick or you're hurt, you will most likely go to a hospital at some point in your life. Um, and hospital workers help these people that come to the hospital. Um, and as the computer said, there's so many different types of workers in a hospital. A hospital worker may be a doctor, a nurse, a therapist, an aide or a pharmacist. Hospital workers do many things. A hospital worker may do surgery, take a temperature, give medicine and more. So hospital workers do so much. There is basically a small town in a hospital. They have, most hospitals have their own police. Um, and then, of course, they have ambulances. But then, you know, they have tons of other people. Let's see who else might be in a hospital. Hospital workers include janitors and cafeteria workers, too. Janitors make hospitals clean. A clean hospital can help people be healthy. Cafeteria workers cook food in hospitals. <clears throat> Eating good food can help people be healthy. So not only do you have doctors and nurses, um, you have aides, you have pharmacy people, you have receptionists, you have records people, you have janitors. Um, keeping a hospital clean is a very big and important job. And so janitors help with that tremendously. And usually if you stay at a hospital, they're going to feed you. So the cafeteria workers there um, are responsible for making sure everybody has the food that they need. Um, you don't have to have a medical degree to work at a hospital. All hospital workers are important. People can thank hospital workers anytime. A good time to thank hospital workers is National Hospital Week. National Hospital Week is May 10th to 16th in 2020. This week celebrates hospital workers. So May 10th is next week. It'll be next Monday. People can do things to thank hospital workers. People can make cards, send emails, and write letters. People can send food to hospitals. Hospital workers can enjoy the food. So, there's lots of different ways you can thank a hospital worker. You can buy them a gift. You can make them a thank you card. You can send them a letter. Um, or you can send food to the hospital as a thank you. People can thank hospital workers on social media too. They can say why hospital workers are important. People can share pictures and videos. 
They can share stories about hospital workers. People can use hashtag my hospital in their posts. So you can even thank hospital workers on social media. That's pretty cool. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of those, I'm sure you can reach out to a hospital worker and thank them. Cities across the U.S. have hospitals. Many hospital workers are very busy now. They are helping people sick with the coronavirus. Many people are thanking hospital workers. How can you thank a hospital worker? Think about it. How would you thank somebody that works at a hospital? People in the news. Hospital workers. Hospital workers work in hospitals. Hospital workers help people feel better. Hospital workers use many tools to help people. These tools include stethoscopes, thermometers, shots, bandages, and more. Places in the news. Hospitals. Hospitals are in cities around the world. Hospitals have rooms with hospital beds. Hospitals have waiting rooms and emergency rooms. They have x-ray machines, medicine, MRI machines, wheelchairs, and more. So hospitals have all sorts of things that can help people feel better. Okay, so if you guys have the ingredients, you're more than welcome to make this and send Miss S and I pictures or um, just let us know when we have our video chats. All right. So you guys have a great day. Make sure you log into Canvas and see what slides you need to do.